this. Um, indicate the top and bottom of the pose. Top and bottom, and then we're gonna gesture it in. Uh, those of you that come down to CCS, you know, we've gone over this gesture quite a bit. This is what we start with. I know I've done some of this for the remote students. So we just wanna cover this again uh, briefly so you can see how the gesture, we're working quickly, light and loose, keeping it as an underdrawing. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at um, the line of action. So we have a line of action that's working like this on our drawing. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to place in a rounded shape for the back of my cranium. And then I'm gonna add a cylinder for my neck. And then I can see a little bit of the face and the jaw coming down and disappearing behind the behind the cylinder that I drew for my neck. Uh, once I put that in, the next thing I want to do is I want to put in my rib cage. And my rib cage is an egg shape. I'm going to put an ellipse through this just so that I can sense the volume of the form. I'll do it in my skull as well. Now I'm going to pull this back just a teeny bit so you can see that I am looking for the midway point of my figure. So I'll come back so we can see the feet. And I'm going to find that midway point double check, make sure it's equal to the lower half. So let's pull it all the way back. Here's our feet down here. There we go. So this is gonna be our midpoint. And it's always good to find that midpoint because right above that, I'm gonna put in a little triangle. That's our sacrum. And we're gonna put in our spine. So I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer now to show you. In addition, I'm gonna draw the pelvis box, which is on a slant. And I can see the back of the box and I can see the underside of the box just a little bit because it's a box that's tilted forward when the model's standing, rectangular box. The other thing I wanna do is since this box is on this slant and looking at this pose, you can see all the weight is on this leg over here. So this leg is slightly bent. So we know that because this leg is straighter and the foot runs pretty much right under that head, uh, all the weight is gonna be distributed over here. And you can see that this foot is even slightly off the ground. So that is another indicator. So we've got our pelvis box going this way. We're gonna look at our shoulders. They're a little bit more straight across. So we put a line that refers to that up here before we draw in our scapulas. Our scapulas are going to be triangle shaped. And we've already done our arms, so we've gone over the scapulas. So putting in these triangles is really going to be helpful in terms of doing what I'm gonna do next, which is bringing an arc down from the back of the skull and connecting it to the end of the triangle. 
that's your trapezius. So we'll do that on this side as well. I'm even going to indicate the ear on either side. So we've got this going on. Uh, we're going to finish off the shoulder. So if we look at our reference, you can see that this shoulder disappears or the arm disappears behind the torso. So we just see a little portion of the shoulder. So basically, we're going to put an arc for the deltoid and then a little bit of the triceps before it disappears behind the rib cage. And then underneath here, we're going to connect the rib cage to the pelvis pelvis box. And this arc right here refers to what we call the external oblique or obliquus externus. We can do that on both sides. All right, so now we're going to get our lower part of our figure, which is our legs. I'm going to come all the way down and uh, check my alignment of my foot to the head. So in our original reference here, I ran a pencil from the support leg, the heel, all the way up and it hits this side of the head. So I want my heel over here to do the, the same thing. So I'll just pull this back so you can see that I'm I'm making an indication where the heel is here and I'm running my pencil up, making sure that it hits on the skull in the same spot. Now, as I lower this and zero in just on the leg, you can see that this is where my heel is gonna be indicated. And then for my foot, I'll bring down the lower part of our leg, our tibia and fibula, and then we'll just bring down an arc that leads into the toes and we'll flatten that off. And it looks a little big compared to the rest of them, I mean. Now, between our pelvis box and our foot, what we want to do is find where are the knees going to be positioned. So this is our lower half. Remember, we've we figured out that this is the halfway mark right here. So if we find the halfway between the heel and here, then we can put a line across that will help us to find the, the knee. Now, even though this is a back view and we don't see the kneecaps, we know that they're gonna fall in that spot. Our top of our leg, is going to begin right up here at the top of the box. And it's going to come down and end before this midpoint where the knee is gonna be. Let it come in right there. And we have another uh, line that I'm gonna draw in that refers to a muscle in the front of the leg. It's called the sartorius. And I'm gonna draw this as if I can see it because it's what pops out the inside of the knee, the inside of the knee curves this way. Whereas the outside of the knee is straight. Then from that point, we bring out a curve, an opposite curve here, and then finish off with a diagonal leading into the foot. The reason for that is because we have a muscle back here known as your hamstring or gastrocnemius muscle. And so that gastrocnemius or hamstring, it has this type of a shape to it. Uh, they say that it should sort of remind you of the shape of a ham. I don't know if it really does, but that's how it got its name. And then, so this one starts up here at the midpoint. This curve here that I'm drawing is a little bit slighter and it comes, it starts a little lower so that there's more of a diagonal to this. And then we'll just finish off with a straight line there. And I always like to put another line here that refers to the Achilles tendon.
And then I'll finish off putting in the, what we call the arc of the buttocks. So the arc of the buttocks goes like this. And to the other side. And then we have the muscles in between here and the buttocks. So this little triangle that we draw in, a lot of times you can see dimples on the backside and you can see the buttocks crest is what we call this where the gluteus maximus meets. And so this little triangle can be formed between those forms that really helps you to understand where the sacrum is placed. All right, let's finish off this leg. Let's come down here and draw the other foot. So the other foot is overlapping. So we're gonna put the heel here. It's off the ground a little bit. All right. And then there is a, a little bit of space in between the two legs. So we've got the knee over on this side. And what we'll do is we'll draw an arc from the top of the box coming down to that point. And then I'll also do that inside arc related to the sartorius so that this really pops out over here. Uh, and then I'll finish off with the muscles in between the, the buttocks or the gluteus maximus and this sartorius line. Uh, and then for the lower portion of our leg, we have our ankle that we've established here. And then we're going to put in that uh, hamstring. So the arc is a little bit higher here. And then it angles off into uh, our Achilles tendon. On the other side, it's going to start here and come down a little bit lower. And last but not least, we're going to put in a small arc on top that refers to the knee. So now we can come on back and bring that up and you can see how we've started to uh, break down anatomically this figure. The last thing is the hand, the arm. So the hand comes right around uh, at the bottom of the sacrum. So we're going to indicate the hand here and we know that the shoulder is up here. So we can create a nice arc where the connection will be. And if I come in a little bit closer for you, uh, just above the bottom of the rib cage is where our uh, elbow will be. And what I'm going to do is put our deltoid in first. And then I'm going to bring an arc on either side for the triceps. We're going to straighten this off right here around the elbow. And then we're going to bring a, an arc that really starts up a little bit higher and then comes down like this. So this is our brachioradialis. And then I'm putting two small lines above and below the line that I indicated for my elbow. So it sort of generates the feel of a plane above and, and below that. So I'll draw that a little bit bigger over here. So I drew a, a line like this, and then I put two lines here and two lines below, and that's like the top and underside of your elbow, your, your electron process. Um, for your hand, let's go down into the hand here for a second, because it's always good to indicate this before we finish the connection. Uh, we have a top plane like this, and we have an underside plane. And then this, this person is holding a cell phone, so we'll draw on the cell phone, and then we'll indicate the fingers grabbing it underneath. And now we can finish off uh, the arc here, which is going to end 
about like that, and then we'll bring in a straight. So when we bring this back to look at the whole arm, you get a better feel for what's going on. And I'm gonna also put in just the division of the vertebrae. Just to give the feel of these are each individual smaller bones that are connected to make our spine and that they have the ability to create movement. But what I wanted to do with you guys today is to, especially for the remote students that don't have access to the model, um, is to go through building a figure from a reference where we start with our gesture. And then in addition to contour, you're taking some of what we're learning from our anatomy. Uh, right now, we're, you know, we've covered uh, the arms and legs and we've covered the torso. So a lot of this simplification that we're doing here is what really makes sense for your overall uh, understructure. All right, so we're gonna end our recording right there.